bear with me. This one is to demonstrate the wonders of Tenpei. So if you've got a mortar and pestle, you can mince it up this way. If you've got a food blender, a little stick blender, you can mince the garlic and the ginger up that way. So this is our bad boy here, this is our, our tempeh. Get a closer look, you can actually see all the kind of soybeans in there. So as I said, it's fermented. Packed full of uh, protein, fiber, vitamins, minerals, ions, lots of things. Well, low in the saturated fats. And actually eating this helps um, disperse a lot of the, the fatty, fattiness that builds up around our organs. Um, that this actually disperses a lot of that. So it's really healthy. I'll provide a link anyway, so you're not just taking it from me, you can hear from an expert. Right here, I'm just gonna pour all that in. I'll have to stay in that hole. I always use the stalk of the broccoli, uh, I'm not sure. If who else does, but it is beautiful and it stir fries up really well. I won't overcook this, I don't want it to go soupy and soggy, I just want to kind of blanch it just a little bit. Here we go. The tempeh coated sesame. In there and then just into a tray. Oh, it's oh, too much there, but oh well. What I don't use, I probably end up just chucking in the salad or something. Right, there's one more little sneaky little bastard in there, please. Okay, preheated the oven, 190 degrees, in it goes. Love the diversity in vegan cooking. Really, because, you know, traditionally you get easily just like think of something to cook, um, chickeny thing or something, but I guess being vegan can be easy, can be hard, you know, but all cooking's like that. Um, but, you know, I, I seriously don't think what I'm cooking tonight is any harder than if you're doing, say, the same thing with a, a salmon meal or a bit of chicken. So just think of it as though, okay, you're gonna have a big bit of salmon and usually you wanna have that with something, you know. That's all this is, it's just a variation of that with the tempeh. And this is just how I like to, how I like to do it. Um, as I said, I'm not gonna cook the shit out of this stuff. I'm just Dr. Gregor, um, I'm not sure if any, any of you know him, the Nutrition Facts guy, he's, a, he's an absolute legend. He's just did a, done a couple of YouTube clips recently about cookware, which I've never really thought about, and um, how a lot of the cookware we use is actually quite toxic and dangerous, uh, especially like Teflon coated cookware. Uh, aluminium doesn't really get a good rap. Uh, stainless steel, kind of iron, uh, considered to be probably the safest form for us to cook this way. So this is just going along nicely. And the rest of the stuff here is just leafy stuff, so I'll just try and pretty much give that a couple of, probably about a minute. That's it. After 10 minutes, just turn these bad boys over. They're in the oven. And you can see there in the back, I've added my um, greens as well. They've been in for probably about a minute. Back in the oven for another 10 minutes. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Now, my favorite part, the meal. This is where you get, get to be really creative and create your masterpiece. So, I'm gonna do, you know, 
got our rice already on the plates here. There maybe, and then here's some of my just raw veg that I've got as well. Let's make a little sesame crusted tempeh. 